Hi there, my name is Lisa Renee from the Collaborative Press. I'm just going to do a quick video on Kindle Trend Scraper to help you with your Amazon ads. It's a free extension on Chrome. So I will share my screen and show you where you can get this. So first of all, go to Chrome. Now, uh, on Kindle Trends also bought Downloader. Uh, you would, I've already downloaded it, but yeah, it's free. You just download this. I'll put the link in the show notes. And then when you've got that as an extension on Chrome, on your Chrome browser, go to the Kindle store, go, uh, I recommend doing your also bots for your own book. I've already done that for mine, but now you can also go whatever your, um, so just going to the Kindle store, go down to your uh, subgenre. So for example, I'm just going to do, uh, go to the bestsellers and clean and romance. So I'm looking at this one. This is a paid book. It's got lots of reviews. It's number one. And I might just look, probably look into it. So it's, oh, it's a new release. That's good. And, you know, you can see that there's number one, number two. So it's doing quite well. So let's go down to the customers who bought this item also bought. And then there's this new symbol here. That's your Kindle Trends add-on. And I will click on that. And it will start scraping the information going through the 18 pages and it will get the ASINs, the titles and series title and the author names. Now it will give it to you in a, in a TXT file, but it's best to open it up in like Excel or a spreadsheet like that. And it just separates them out easier for copy and pasting when you wanna create your Amazon ads. Now, so that's finished. So I'm going to go to Excel file open downloads. So I've already downloaded before um, to test it out. Now it has some suggestions, pretty much um, it's set to do, do it quite well. Um, if you want to fiddle around with that and separate it a bit more. So there we go. So you'd create an ad uh, targeting the products just using the ASINs and then a separate ad targeting the keywords. So the title name and author name. If you had a lot of, this has got 89 uh, listed here. So you might wanna separate the ads. Obviously with the authors, it will take out the double up. So that's nice and easy. So that's uh, just a little quick tip. Uh, you also have, a, that, so that's a free one. Publisher Rocket is one that's a bit more complex. It has extra features. So if you do have some money to invest, um, you can do like analyze your competition. If you're wanting to write a new series, you might want to check out, um, you know, what, what, what's out, out there, put your keywords in there and press go get them rocket and it'll come up with that. Okay. And there's some tutorials there on how to use it. Uh, you can do a keyword search. Let's have a look at this. So maybe you put an ASIN. Uh, let's say a keyword and phrase. So, oh, so there you go. You can you can pick one of these. So if I went to, if I got, I wanted to search for the title, or I could search with ASIN. Publisher Rocket. Have a look. All right. So that's it. Now this is saying what the price is. Here it says where it's ranking based in the Kindle store. So it's doing quite good. It's been 34 days. Estimated, this is estimated daily sales for the book. Oh, that's pretty good, 5,000. Monthly sales, if she kept, keeps it up for the whole month. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> so there you go. So you can look, see the categories. All right, there you go. So some people recommend just um, targeting one category at a time. Uh, but if you were wanting to list your book and tell Amazon which categories you like, this can give you some hints as well. Okay, so I have a link for that as well. Uh, I use Publisher Rocket, I use the Scraper as well. So I use both of them, especially if I'm researching um, what's, what's going well out there, what keywords 
uh, doing well. So um, those links will be down below. And subscribe if you would like some extra little tips now and then on Amazon ads and other marketing. Bye for now.